when we sandblast the equipment, we record every detail about it. Temperature, humidity, um, media used, surface profile, and within one day, to ensure there's no rust bloom, stuff goes right into paint as well. So you're, in, you're ensuring a quality adhesion, mill thickness, and color to suit your application. So the paint process is actually quite important process in the, in the whole fabrication standpoint and the longevity of the equipment. A standard conveyor for exterior use with a enamel or polyurethane type of coating on it can go relatively quick. Um, but we do some insulating coatings where we're building out to 180 mils or 200 mils thick. That's over 3 sixteenths of an inch of paint. And that, that's an insulating coating. So it's one used for personnel safety if we're dealing with higher temps, you know, 3 400 degree exterior temperature on the conveyor. It allows them to do a touch temp and meet OSHA standards. Or also, it helps keep heat in the product. Depending on the process, it may be advantageous for the client to maintain that heat in the product and not let it radiate out through the conveyor. Processes like that can take weeks. Say you have something that's highly abrasive in a highly corrosive environment. Well, having the exterior provided with a, a marine grade or a, a salt laden or a very corrosive uh, resistant coating process can add years of life while still allowing us to build the conveyor out of carbon steel or hardens carbon steel to provide that abrasion resistance for the internal components. We take a lot of pride in our workmanship, so if we don't, if I don't walk in and look at our equipment and say, yeah, that looks good, or we did it right, um, then it doesn't go out. 